video, I'm going to show you how to add a button, a call to action to your main navigation. If you are in Squarespace 7.1, you just started your site, you're probably in 7.1. If you just started your site, I'm going to show you how to add a call to action in your main navigation. Uh, and let's begin. In this video, I'm going to walk through how to add a button to your main navigation to make sure it is set up beautiful, works on your desktop and mobile experience, and we'll touch on a few other things as we go along. So the first thing is I'm on the sample website. I am going to go into the back end. As soon as I'm here, you could basically do this on any page, but let's just go to the home page and start from there. So I'm on the home page. What you're going to want to do is you could double click into the page or you could press edit. I'm going to just double click and now I'm in the editor. You're seeing these blue boxes show up everywhere. You're good to go. All right. What you want to do there is hover over the main navigation here. You'll see edit site header. Click on that. And then this menu pops up a lot of options here. You can play around with a lot of things, but let's focus in on adding a button. The way we do this is you'll see elements here. So you'll click on that and then you'll have these three options. So it says button. And so you'll click on that. Boom. Now you've just added a button to your main navigation. Not too hard, not too difficult, but a few things to keep in mind. First, you're going to want to change the call to action here to whatever it will be. So I just changed it to contact us. Next, we want to add the URL. The way we do this is you do not need to add the entire URL. You just need to add everything after the forward slash. So a cool shortcut here is if I just remove all of this and then I click forward slash, Boom, it'll show me all these options. So let's say if I have a contact page, I do, thankfully. So I'll click contact and from there, that's good to go. Now, there are other options, other things you could do here just to show you what this button is capable of, but let's go into this settings. And once you're in here, there's a lot of different options. So first of all, if you wanna link people to a new page and you want it to open in a new window, you could check that here. Uh, if you want it to open up an email, you could do that. If it's going to a separate page completely, you could do that. If you want it to be a file, I don't know if that's necessary, but if you do, you can. And if you want it to make a phone call, you could do that as well. So let's play around with the phone call option just for a moment. I'm going to go back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type this call us. There we go. So there's two ways to do this. You can just remove this and then go here, click settings and then click on phone. And then I'll ask you for the phone number. Perfect. So the phone number is added. Let's see, Tem or SMS. Oh, wow, that's interesting. So it could be a text message. Hmm, that's interesting. I didn't even know that was an option. Now it is. Okay, cool. All right, so tell, boom, click save. You'll see it show up here. Basically, so you understand what this is. If you type in tell and then type in the phone number, just like that, you'll see that that would work as a link. You could have the lines in there. You could remove the lines. It's really not a big deal. You probably don't want spaces, but as long as it's that as a link, it will work. So let's just sample it for a second. And then I'm going to hit save. And the way you know it's working is if you click on it and it gives you the option to make a call, well, then you're it's it's working. So let's take a look at one other thing. So if I click on the mobile experience and I click on this little menu, you'll see that the button shows up here as well. So this will work for mobile as well. Natively within Squarespace, you cannot customize it to have two separate buttons, one for mobile and one for desktop. You can custom code that. But in this case, I'd honestly recommend that's too complicated. Keep it simple. Whatever your call to action is should be the same for desktop and mobile. So you could see that experience there. And now you've added a button here. I have other videos on how to edit buttons and the look and feel, but for now you've added a button to your navigation. Hey guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you got value from this video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it lets the YouTube algorithm know some important information, but it lets me know that you got value from this content. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And with that, if you got value from this video and if you're looking for more content just like this, I publish a new video every single week, if not multiple videos every week. Hit that subscribe button. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.